When it comes to the title of the real King of the Monsters, I say there are only two contenders for the crown. Eiji Tsuburaya, who I talked about last week, and of course, Ray Harryhausen. Now anyone watching these monster videos should know who Ray is, obviously, and all of the great movies he gave us. And if you don't, well, then maybe you just don't love dinosaurs and mythical critters as much as I thought you did! When I was young and got my own video camera for Christmas, I spent tons and tons of hours just making my own movies with clay sculptures or toys or whatever I could use for stop-motion animation. It shouldn't be any surprise that even then I was a huge Harryhausen fan and wanted to emulate him and his work as much as I could. And even though I haven't done any stop-motion in a long time, it's still something I would very much consider doing again, if only to relive those memories of trying to be like one of my animator heroes. So today I'm drawing the Cyclops, or more accurately, a Cyclops since there's more than one of them, from The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Now oddly enough, this is not my favorite Harryhausen movie, but I still recommend it as the perfect starter movie for anyone who isn't familiar with Harryhausen's work. The reason I suggest this one is because it's just a good simple movie. Nothing really confusing, nothing really slow about it, it just moves along at a fairly brisk pace and keeps itself focused on just giving the viewer a lot of fun and wonder. Consider it Harryhausen Class 101. And of course, there are monsters. Quite a lot of them, actually. When Harryhausen made the transition from black and white monster in the Rampage movies to color fantasies, he started throwing all sorts of weird and random creatures into his stories, restraint be damned. And why not? Who says some old Greek legend shouldn't include a robot minotaur, or giant scorpions, or a griffin fighting a centaur, or just whatever the hell came out of Ray's head that he knew would delight the audience? In Seventh Voyage, aside from the Cyclops, you'll find a really cool dragon, a two-headed rock vulture, a dancing naga snake woman, and Harryhausen's trademark, the living skeleton. Words don't do these things justice, so if you haven't seen this movie already, keep an eye out for it. Just like a Cyclops! Sadly, I never got to meet Ray, but I still am grateful for his inspiration. Here's hoping we can always remain young at heart and enjoy the wonder of monsters beating the living hell out of each other. Enjoy, kids! Thank you for being part of the show. If you enjoyed this video, please visit the bookstore at scapulacomic.com. There you'll find the complete Dada Hyenas Creature Show book series, showcasing my art of all of your favorite monsters. Yeah, even that one. You'll also meet Scapula, the world's worst villain, in his wickedly hilarious comic book adventures. Help support weird art and the weird artists who make it, and we'll share great frights and fun. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs>